What film role was 100% perfectly cast? John Candy as Uncle Buck. Arnold as the Terminator. Arnold as Conan the Barbarian. The whole cast of The Shawshank Redemption. Special mention to Morgan Freeman. Made Morgan's voice iconic. Val Kilmer as Doc Holliday in Tombstone. Kathy Bates as Annie Wilkes in Misery. When they recast James Earl Jones's role as Mufasa for The Lion King, the person they got to replace him was James Earl Jones. Full Metal Jacket all roles were brilliantly cast but nigh. Sergeant Hartman is the truest character in the film. Ali Ermi was a drill instructor in the Marine Corps and brought in only to advise, but he wanted the role. He put on a uniform and showed Kubrick how it should be and got the part over Tim Kalsuri who was already cast but moved to the door gunner's part. Edit. Wow thank you my first award ever. Tim Curry in. Clue. Rocky Horror. Muppet Treasure Island. Fern Gully. Etc. Don't forget legend. Tim Curry as a giant red satyr was amazing to behold. Really. Tim Curry was smashing in every role he played. J.B. Abadam in No Country for Old Men. Everyone in that movie tbh, and especially Kelly MacDonald. Her West Texas accent is spot on. And she's Scottish. Vincent D'Onofrio as the bug in the Edgar suit in Men in Black. The fact that he wasn't even nominated for an Oscar for that role is clean, and simply a crime against humanity. Think about it. We all, well, and files at least, are intimately familiar with who Vincent D'Onofrio is, and what he looks like. And yet, there isn't a moment in that entire film, when we aren't wholly convinced, that he is anything other than a cockroach wearing human skin. Uncomfortably. Actors get Oscars for playing humans with human problems. Not that far of a stretch for a human actor. But Vincent played a bug stuffed inside of ill-fitting skin. Convincingly. And we snub him, because we don't take comedy seriously. Slap yourself. Academy. Slap yourself right in the dick. Daniel Day Lewis as Daniel Plainview. There will be blood. Definitely Anthony Hopkins as Hannibal. Anyone other than Andre the Giant as Fezzik would be inconceivable. If only he could have played the mountain that rides. Sigourney Weaver as Ellen Ripley. Patrick Stewart as Jane Luckpicket. Alan Rickman in Galaxy Quest though I could have posted just Alan Rickman and the post would have still answered the question. Christian Bale for American Psycho. David Tennant as Crowley. Chris Tucker as Ruby Rod from The Fifth Element. I heard they wanted Prince, but Chris was perfect. No one was ready for that. Brian Cranston as Alan Malcolm in the middle and as Walter White in Breaking Bad. Michael J. Fox as Marty McFly and of course Christopher Lloyd as Doc Brown. Tilda Swinton as the Archangel Gabriel and Constantine. Harrison Ford as Indiana Jones and Han Solo. Rain Wilson as Dwight Scrooge. Creed Bratton as Creed Bratton. Hugo Weaving as Agent Smith in The Matrix. Patrick Stewart as Professor X. Brown Atkinson as Mr. Bean. Robbie Coltrane as Rubius Hagrid. Joaquin Phoenix in Walk the Line. A superb Johnny Cash. Matthew Lillard as Shaggy. Russell Crowe's Maximus in Gladiator. The speech once he takes off the mask is goosebump inducing epic. Quiet strength. We'll say nothing about him as Robin Hood. Though. Close bracket. Al Pacino as Michael Corleone. Rosamund Pike as Amy Dunn in Gone Girl. She perfectly embodied the Amy of the book and somehow added even more depth to the character. She was truly excellent and deserved the Oscar in now. Leonardo DiCaprio as Arnie Grape in the movie What's Eating Gilbert Grab. Jeff Goldblum as Ian Malcolm in Jurassic Park. On second thought all of the actors in Jurassic Park. Everyone in The Princess Bride. Most perfect casting of an entire movie ever. John Malkovich and being John Malkovich. 
I'd have to say Edward Norton as Jack and Brad Pitt as Tyler Durden in Fight Club. But that entire cast was solid. They embodied the characters flawlessly from the book. Ian McKellen as Gandalf, L.O.T.R. Every role in Girl. Interrupted. Winona Ryder and Angelina Jolie just mail their roles. But really every supporting actor freaking delivers especially Clee Duval and Brittany Murphy Mo. Bill Hader as the older Richie in it. Chapter 2. Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man. Jack Black in School of Rock. This is probably cheating, but Gary Oldman cast is literally anyone. The man is the perfect casting. Name one role that he played that he didn't nail. Heath Ledger, The Joker, The Dark Knight. Nick Offerman as Ron Swanson from Parks and Rec. Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool. Alan Rickman as Hans Grubber, Die Hard. Tommy Wiseau, The Room. Han Solo in Carbonite. Tom Hanks, Forrest Gump. I really like Jamie Foxx as Django. Christoph Waltz was also really good. Robin Williams as the genie in Aladdin is one of the best cast film roles of all time. Louis Black as Anger in Inside Out. He's literally the angriest man alive. Not a film, but Peter Dinklage as Tyrion on Game of Thrones. Jim Carrey in Ace Ventura. Christoph Waltz as Carl Hans Lander in Inglorious Bastards. Viggo Mortensen as Aragorn LOTR. Pretty much everyone in the Big Lebowski. Frank Underwood. Still sends shivers down my spine. I know they botched the overall franchise, but I thought Henry Cavill was the perfect Superman. I'd say that Charlie Sheen was pretty perfect as Rick Vaughn in Major League. Arnold Schwarzenegger as the Terminator John Leguizamo as the pest Denzel Washington as Alonzo. Alan Rickman, Severus Snape, Harry Potter had some phenomenal casting, along with Alan Rickman. Imelda Staunton as Umbridge and Kenneth Branagh as Tilda Roy Lockhart were perfect choices. How dare you forget Maggie Smith. Val Kilmer as Jim Morrison. Johnny Depp as Jack Sparrow. Captain, Jack Sparrow. Michael Scarn, played by Michael Scott, the best protagonist in the whole film industry. Hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.